I guess we we weren't paying attention to him. All right. Hello. We are on the air. You're watching <laughs> Drum Smack here on T Radio V. We have a video that we'd like to intro with um, that we'll queue up here in a minute. But that was nice and smooth. We apparently we have callers too. Okay. So. <laughs> Cool. We're having too much fun. Yeah, yeah, a lot going on. Do we have that video ready? All right, fire that video up. Check this out. It's pretty cool. So, Adrian, that was a couple weeks ago. Yeah, Jazz Fest in New Orleans. Oh, how nice. was that? Good times? Oh, yeah. Yeah? That's that's maybe my favorite city to visit in the United States of America. Really? Maybe number one. Yeah. Did you bring your golf clubs? Uh, no. Really? No. Wow. It must have been different. I brought my hand <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> there you go. There you go. He's prepared. He's prepared. Well, yeah. we we actually have another video um, that we'll queue up here of you playing with one of the like locals, like it looks like on the street or something, like a Bourbon Street deal. Oh, that was kind of. That's cool. the day after Jazz Fest on Bourbon at Lafitte's Blacksmith um, Bar, uh, and the guy I'm playing with is Stephen Bradley, who plays trumpet in No Doubt. Oh, okay. cool. Yeah. Okay. So you guys just kicking it? We just did a spontaneous thing on bourbon. Just here we just yeah. like just like that. Do we have that video ready? Here, let's let's show our audience this video real quick. <laughs> did you tune those up first? <laughs> Um, we're doing a, we're doing some festivals. Um, we're gonna do uh, a new festival in Del Mar called Kaboo. We're gonna do a festival in Aspen, and we're gonna uh, do Bottle Rock in Napa. In a, oh, that's at cool. the end of the month. Oh, wow. wait, but you also just played in D.C. Yeah, we did the Global Citizens Benefit uh, in front of the National Monument. That's, Washington Monument. That's pretty epic. Yeah, that wow. was that was that was cool. Yeah, I saw that those. Uh, who, somebody was on your Twitter feed, like, uh, posted some really, really cool photos that, like, when you guys were setting up, and, like, it was it, cool. It was a unique location. It's a once-in-a-lifetime thing, for sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get to no meet doubt. the president there or anything like that, that kind of deal? We have, but not on that trip. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right on. Well, I believe we have a caller. Are you guys ready for yeah. that? Headphones on, ready to go? I think so. All right, caller, you are on the air. Welcome to Drum Smack. Uh, mention your name and where you're calling from. <laughs> All right. <laughs> He's cool. not there. <laughs> the hell was waiting for He's those not guys. There. Unless, unless we so have switching it. issues. Uh, I'll answer that one. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. He hung up. Well, okay, I, he I have a question from uh, Bodie Photographer uh, from Twitter, and uh, he says... Uh, he's listening to the broadcast, he's a huge No Doubt fan, and he wants to know what song is the most technically, tec technically challenging to play live for you? Uh, wow, that's a tough one. Um, <laughs> probably, probably that song, New. Okay. Um, it's not technically challenging, but endurance-wise, 
because you didn't see it there, but during the verses, it's really fast 16th note patterns on the, uh, and they go f for a long time. And, you know, my less than youth youthful limbs are kind of going, <laughs> keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, you know. They're like, what happened? <laughs> what, what happened to this motion? <laughs> <laughs> we do actually have a caller back on the line. Okay, caller. Tell us your name and where you are calling from. You're talking to Adrian Young and Gil Sharon. Hi, my name is Bodie. I'm calling from Seattle. Bodie! Hello. Is this Bodie photographer? Yes. Yeah. Bodie, <laughs> man, you are persistent. I'm impressed. <laughs> Well, yeah. there was your answer. We just uh, we were just talking about it. Did you did you see? Oh, I was dialing and dialing. I didn't get to hear or see. Oh, okay. Well, you, you want to re quickly rephrase <laughs> a recap? Recap that answer real quick for Brony. Okay. Um, I I can't really say which one is the most technically challenging, but the the most endurance challenge I have is that song new because of all the 16th note patterns in the verses. Did you get that? I did. Bodie, are you a drummer? Um, I'm not, but uh, my sister has been drumming pretty much my whole life. So Cool. Man, it sounds like what you a got nice, like a nice brother. Transformers thing going on in the yeah, phone call there. So. <laughs> Do you have another question for uh, Adrian or Gil? What was that? Sorry. Oh, did, did, did you have any other questions for Adrian or Gil? Nope. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so this is for Adrian. Um, I was just wondering, so, uh, how does, maybe not skill level, but the challenge of certain songs to play live determine the set list that no doubt chooses uh that does never that never determines the set list um it's it's all about pacing as far as like we're always thinking about what the audience is gonna do react and how they're gonna feel not how we're gonna get through each song per se that totally makes sense you know i actually that that makes me think of uh uh bodie thanks so much for calling in man really appreciate your, your participation call. and watching uh, yeah, man. Uh, I think that that reminds me of I can't remember who was drumming for Marilyn, and he said that Marilyn like packed back to back songs that were just like brutal, and it was like suck it up, man. It was Here Jason you go. Sutter. It was yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that's the gig. <laughs> right. <laughs> Got to do it. A lot of energy. Do you do yoga or anything like that, or any kind of yeah outside practices um, to kind of keep, keep I'm really, things fresh? I'm really into martial arts. I've been for years and that's a huge part of my life and approach to drumming as well. So to me it's like hand in hand. But yeah, I train a lot, especially on the road, but I've just been lucky, good genes or something. I don't get tired on stage, whether it's with Manson or any of the other bands that I've played with. It's I've also had like been through the ringer, you know, played with a lot of intimidating bands. And that makes you strong. Yeah. When Whoop you were it. playing with the Dillinger, I mean, that must have been kind of brutal. And, and yeah, those intense. sticks you were using were thick. Yeah, yeah. I Lumber. Was using, yeah. <laughs> Abe, what up, Abe? I was using wow. Abe's stick um, at the time. That's a beefy, like, 2B, like, bigger than a 2B Whoa. and long. Yeah, for, for, you know, very fast, brutal speeds and patterns and tempos and, you know, flurries. But, yeah, now... I'm with Vader, and I use the West Side stick. I love that stick. It's it's right. like, what kind of tip? It's like the Buddy Rich stick. Oh, it's okay. It's very similar. It's just got a, you know, connected taper. Sure. So yeah, but I love that. It's, I just kind of evolved into going back to that and not needing to use such a beefy stick. Um, but yeah, playing with Manson is you got to be on your toes. It's like non-stop what uh, quick question what martial arts do you study I've been into Chinese internal kung fu um, for years and then wow jiu-jitsu is something that I'm extremely passionate about <laughs> <laughs> and and you know I recently actually just hooked up with 
a friend who's training me, and he's a beast, and his name's John, and he's probably watching. So what's up, brother? But yeah, awesome, that that inspiration, you know, just even, and it's cool because John's really into drumming, so we get to the share, core. we get to share like each other's, like what we do, you know. Totally. So, but anyway, yeah, um, having that is very important in my playing. Really quick. Feel the testosterone. <laughs> yeah, to that. I feel it right here next to you. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, Adrian, do you do anything like when you're on the uh, road or anything like yoga or anything like that? To... I do. I do yoga. I I run. I, I kind of cross train. Golf. You know, all, for, Golf. all forms of fitness. Yeah. P90X. P90X. Yeah. So you know. No big deal. Thigh master. I lift the bus before we start. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Right All right, everyone, you're watching Drum Smack here on T Radio V. I know there's some callers that are waiting to get on. We will get to you shortly uh, after we take this short break. So stick around. You're watching Drum Smack.